Hello everybody and welcome to another Python tutorial. We're going to be building on the last tutorial which covered the for else pairing. And now what we're going to be talking about is the while else. So same sort of idea behind it. Um, so we're only we'll show it with the while loop instead, right? So if you miss the for else loop, I'll put a link to it in the description. Again, the while else pairing here is going to work the same as for else in that the while and the else are part of like the same block, let's say. Um, or loop. Therefore, if the loop is allowed to continue until its end, the else statement and everything under it is going to be called and you know done. Because of this, it's you know very important that you when you reach the period where you have quote unquote succeeded, right, and what you want, right. Basically, think of it as if you reach something where you would have uh, used an if statement and it rang true, then you need to throw in the break, uh, which is going to break the rest of the loop, including the else statement. So let's show it a quick example. Uh, so we're going to say x equals 0, and then we're going to have a while, while x is less than 10, if x is greater than 5, um, print um, x became greater than 5, uh, else x plus equals 1. Now this else statement is not the one that you need to pay attention to, right? This is pertaining to the if, so it's regular if else. Then we have another else statement here, and this is the new one. Um, print did not find any example. Now as I said before, this might be the way that you initially want to write this, but if you'll watch, um, let's go ahead and run this and see if we even get away with it. Well, we should, yeah. So we get a lot of <laughs> x became greater than fives, um, but we never actually got you know to our else, and it, um, yeah. We also gave ourselves a nice infinite loop there because we never actually got to the x plus equals one part. Anyway, uh, we need the break, so you have to throw in the break there. And now when we throw in the break, uh, we'll run this, and we see that x became greater than 5, right? So it ran this, uh, well, it ran the wow, and x did become greater than 5, it broke, and never actually got to uh, the else statement. Now, <clears throat> what we could do is x plus equals, let's say, 11, right? So in this case, it will, um, it will run initially at 11, break the while loop, so it'll never have actually, or get out of the while loop, I suppose. So it'll never trigger this break, and it should say, did not find any example by the end of this. So now let's save that, let's run that, and sure enough, uh, did not find any example, because there was, you know, it never actually reached, within the first run, it became greater than 10, so, and it was never greater than 5, um, while it was less than 10. So, um, that's kind of an example of the while else. Now, the other thing to keep in mind too is when you break, um, you know, some people might assert that this else statement is like a lonely else statement, like it's not actually pertaining to the while. But um, just to show, we'll say print and uh, you know continues the rest of the code. So we run it, and even though we hit the break, did not find any example, we still continue on uh, with the rest of the code. Uh, just to show that these these are actually paired together and this is something built into Python. So anyways, um, that's going to conclude the while else statement. Now in the next video what we're going to be uh, talking about is you can actually do um, it's really try except else. So, but mostly what you're actually looking at is except else. So anyways, that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions and until next time.